55 year old lady. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, and we're, hello, we're here. Hi. You, you put a dog on set and we'll just, we're talking about how adorable he is and his background. Macy stays with us, uh, Houston Humane. You brought a little poodle in. His name is Howard and we are in love. Yes, this is Howard. <laughs> so he's not hey, looking baby. at the camera because he's blind. Um, he he's almost 13 Aww. years old. And like I was telling you, he is from a cruelty case. Uh, an older lady had him in his home, in her home mm -hmm. and she just couldn't care for him. Yeah. So he was really matted. Um, it wasn't eating right, uh, urine scalded, and we took oh. him in, him and his two sisters. Yeah. And his two sisters have been adopted, but Howard's still looking for his forever home. Oh my, and let me tell you, he is 13, but so much life yet to live, mm -hmm. and just a sweet, sweet boy. And poodles are what, one of the smartest breeds, right? Oh, yeah, he's so smart. Yeah. He, he might be blind and have no teeth, but he knows <laughs> when I have a treat. He can tell when I'm coming, like, to his kennel. Um, he loves to cuddle. Yeah. He doesn't like to walk. <laughs> <laughs> he would much rather be held. Makes for yes. a perfect purse dog. Yes. Um, and he lets you dress him up too, which is he fun. does. And mm -hmm. speaking of dressing up, tomorrow y'all are having the pictures with Santa. Yeah, Santa. yeah, we are. So from 11 to 2, you can come to our adoption center um, and bring your kids and your pets, and you can get your holiday photos. Well, let me tell you, I would be honored to sit with the photo <laughs> with this gorgeous boy. Um, he's just wonderful, and I, I hope somebody takes a takes him home soon. Me I was gonna too. say takes a chance on him, but he's a sure thing, baby. I mean, he's so easy so like if sweet. you've ever wanted a dog to just love on you and just be like your best friend cuddle buddy he's it like he's perfect <laughs> as I put my giant <laughs> noggin in the shop no. <laughs> as I try to talk to him um, anyone in particular who maybe <clears throat> wouldn't be a good fit for him to, given his sight um, limitation um, I would think he would probably be best in a home with people who are live a more chill lifestyle yeah. don't try to take him hiking right, um, right. yeah he's he's gonna need some assistance um, as far as his blindness goes with mm -hmm. just if you have stairs in your home making sure he's very aware of them and it's like a routine that you follow each day so he can get comfortable with it but other than that I mean there's tons of um, articles and resources out there for people who are interested in adopting blind dogs to learn more about them and we could definitely like recommend you do so before um, trying to adopt one absolutely but. listen Howard is a gem we love him here at KPRC <laughs> too we encourage you to go meet him at Houston Humane and y'all still need fosters for the holidays Please. too right yes we are full 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 um, and we want to continue to help our community um, in, in taking in dogs that need to be taken off the streets yes. and you know taken in with yes. by owner surrenders and cruelty cases and so in order to do that we need space and fosters mm -hmm. make space so we would love to have dogs in foster homes over the holidays Absolutely. and hopefully find their forever home that's right that's yeah. the goal macy stays with houston humane thank you